having secured qualification at the expense of the USA, Russia 2018 will be Panama's first ever World Cup. The Central American country with a population of just 4 million is far from a traditional footballing hotbed. The national team's exploits in qualification only recently enraptured the national conscience with baseball the country's favored pastime. However, in Russia, Los Canaleros, the canal men, will be cheered on vociferously back home, where a squad of overachieving veterans have earned hero status. An unfavorable group draw means Panama's hopes of progress to the knockout stages are slim. Currently 55th in the FIFA World Rankings, they are the only side in Group G not ranked inside the world's top 15 and begin their campaign with the unenviable task of facing the talent-rich, third-ranked Belgium on June 18. Road to the World Cup after narrowly missing out on making it to a qualification playoff for the 2014 World Cup, Panama booked the place at Russia 2018 in the most dramatic of circumstances. Already punching well above the weight, Panama entered the final round of qualifying fixtures in with a shot at third place. In the CONCACAF, the North, Central American and Caribbean Federation, standings, and thus automatic qualification, behind Mexico and Costa Rica. But they were reliant on the stars aligning, a requiring qualification hopefuls USA to slip up against already eliminated Trinidad. The USA duly stumbled, losing 2-1 at the Atto Bolden Stadium in Cuba. But the Panamanian faithful were left on tenterhooks until the 88th minute when Seattle Sounders defender Roman Torres netted a dramatic late winner against Costa Rica, earning a 2-1 win at the Estadio Rommel Fernandez, queuing wild celebrations among the 26,000 strong home support. Results have been less favorable since that magical night in October last year, however, with friendly defeats too. Iran 2-1, Denmark 1-0, and Switzerland 6-0, and a 1-1 draw with Wales hardly inspiring confidence. Tactics Tactically, Panama's approach is one typical of many underdog sides. They prioritize defensive solidity, often fielding five across the back and four in midfield with a single striker, usually 37-year-old Blas Perez, plowing a lonely furrow in attack. For that, when possession is regained, they look to launch quick counterattacks, luring their opponents in before springing into the space as they leave behind. Panama's greatest strength is the togetherness and the mutual understanding between players. Many of the key performers within the squad, such as Captain Torres, combative midfielder Gabriel Gomez, goalkeeper Jamie Pelado, center back Felipe. Barrow and striker Perez are well into the 30s, with more than a decade's international experience and over 100 caps. Their underdog tale is an inspiring one, but due to their aging squad and defensive tactics, don't expect Panama's style of football to thrill. Operating from a deep defensive block, protecting the goal with a row of five defenders stationed just outside the penalty. Area, Panama can be a tough nut to crack, conceding just 15 goals from 16 total qualification games. Of all the teams within CONCACAF, Panama won the third most possessions inside the defensive third 214 during qualification, behind only Mexico 277 and Costa Rica 261. They also ranked second for headed clearances 95, and third for interceptions 183, and tackles 215. Star player at Roman Torres Panama are able to boast two strikers with impressive international goal returns in the shape of Perez and Luis de Yarda, both with 43 goals. Over 100 caps while Gomez, despite being 34 and the country's record appearance maker, with 143 caps, is an energetic and consistent performer in central midfield. Defense is Panama's strength, though, where Dynamo Bucharest keeper Penedo has a wealth of experience. 130 caps and 37-year-old Bowie retains the athleticism of a much younger man. But Torres, the captain, central defensive linchpin and crucial goal scorer of the historic qualifying campaign, is the star of the show, and a relative youngster at as brightly 32. An international debutant at the age of 18, he has previously attracted interest from the likes of Manchester United, Swansea City and Nottingham Forest, going on trial with the latter in 2012. 
Torres has plied his trade in Major League Soccer with Seattle Sounders since 2015 and he became an instant national hero when he stuck Panama's late winner against Costa Rica last October. Manager Hernandario Gomez When Panama secured the place at Russia 2018, Manager Gomez became only the second coach ever to qualify for the World Cup with three different nations, having done so with Colombia, his home country, in 1998 and Ecuador four years later. Gomez has been less successful in club football and returned for a brief, fruitless spell in charge of Colombia in 2011. He took up the Panama post in 2014, and guiding Los Canaleros to World Cup qualification can be regarded as his greatest achievement. The 62-year-old attributes much of his success with Panama to not only his tactical know-how but also to how his vast experience has given him the ability to develop an understanding of the idiosyncrasies of any nation he takes charge of. Expectations The odds are stacked firmly against Panama making it beyond the group stage. Success for them will be defended by their ability to hold their own against superior opposition. Belgium and England should on paper represent insurmountable obstacles for Panama while Tunisia too will fancy their chances of swatting aside the Central Americans. In the first ever World Cup, if they can avoid a drubbing and maybe, just maybe, pick up a first World Cup point, this aging generation of Panama players will be able to look back on their international efforts with immense pride. Follow Football Whispers on Twitter.